Having the equation L di over dt plus R times I equals to B, we are going to find the solution of the circuit of the mentioned problem, which is the value of current with respect to time. In order to do this using differential equation, let's try to simplify the equation into the form of either a linear, Bernoulli, and other first order differential equation. For the equation we have, we arrive with a linear equation which is bi plus ri over l times dt equals to b over l times dt. Thus, now we can do the process of getting the solution of the linear differential equation. Using the p of t, which is r over l, we can get the integrating factor, which is e to the power of rt over l, and multiply it to the linear equation deduced. After multiplying the integrating factor with the linear equation, we will integrate the e to the power of rt over l di and the qt dt. The integration of i times e to the power of rt over l is itself, while the integration of e to the power of rt over l times v over l dt is v over r times e to the power of rt over l plus c. So simplifying, the equation we have now is i is equal to v over r plus c times e raised to the power of negative rt over l. We have the given current is equal to 10 amperes, voltage is equal to 0 volts, resistance is equal to 50 ohms, and inductance is equal to 2 hem. To get the value of C, suppose we have an initial time is equal to 0. Substitute given values we have now, 10 is equal to 0 over 50 plus C times E raised to the power of negative 50 times 0 over 2, then the value of C is equal to 10. In conclusion, the equation to get the current of the said problem with respect to time is i is equal to 10 times e raised to the power of negative 25t. To test the actual result of the problem, we used a simulator, and here we have the display screen of an oscilloscope showing the flow and value of current and voltage of the circuit. Starting the simulation, the oscilloscope shows the numerical value of the voltage in the graph of the oscilloscope. As we close the switch, the voltage and the current decreases of the oscilloscope. So in conclusion, as the time increases, the current flow decreases. Mm -hmm.